Lawn and Community. Welcome to Morris Custom Model Shop. James Morris here saying God bless all here. Told you a while back I'd do a little uh, tutorial on how I make my radiator hoses. I like to make my own rather than try to use the ones in the kits because half the time they don't fit. And when they do, they don't really look that realistic. The Ford that I'm doing, the Ford truck that I'm doing for uh, the Papa Dan's build, right here is the radiator, kit radiator hose for it. It's one of those that had an upper, didn't even have a lower, so I'm going to have to measure and create my own lower. But the way I go about making one of these is this is some vinyl tubing I found at Hobby, Ta Hobby Lobby. It is in the bead making section. It's a hollow tube and it's a nice soft rubber, very flexible, doesn't kink, doesn't crack. Uh, it's real good. Looks, I think it looks very realistic, very much like a black radiator hose should look. And uh, what I do then is I take this is .050 resin core solder. Uh, for this instance, resin core won't hurt anything. Some things you can't use resin core for, but this you can. And I will put it into this and and core it. I'll measure by this hose the length that I need to have to cut off, you know, by putting it like this and my hands don't get in the way and wrapping it around and down and just a just a rough estimate of what I want. Cut it off. I'll feed this all the way through it. Let it stick out, say about that much on each end. And then I'll drill my uh, water pump and housings and my radiator to where that is the pin that holds it in place. Once I get that fed through and done up, then I cut me a thin strip of this AC, AC, let's see, what do they call it? Uh, HVAC tape. It's aluminum duct tape. And uh, I cut a thin strip like that, take pieces and wrap around the hose, and this is what I come out with. If you wanted to go a little more realistic, you can take a piece of stretch sprue, wrap a little piece of the HVAC tape around it, glue it to the side like a worm gear for the band clamps, or if you wanted to make a tower clamp, you could actually cut a small uh, triangular shaped block and glue to the top of it, and then put a piece of the tape across it to make it stand up and make a tire clamp, make it look like the old Chevrolet tire clamps. Of course, uh, I think it's Chrysler and Dodge used a wire spring type clamp for a while. Uh, that would be no problem. All you have to do is just wrap a wire around it, twist it, and you got a spring type clamp on there. But that's the way I make my radiator hoses. In the case of the one that's not on this kit, where it'd be a a bottom radiator hose. Once I get the radiator installed, I'll measure with like a pair of dividers like these between the radiator and the uh, outlet from the water pump. And I'll just cut me a piece of tubing and a piece of this. And it's real flexible. This stuff is just, you know, you can do it any way you want to and straighten it right back out just by doing that a couple times. It makes a real good core for your radiator hose all like that and like I say this stuff here works great for it holds it right in there so that's the way I make a radiator hose uh, have any questions just put in the comments down below if I need to redo this or something for you just let me know uh, thank you all for watching appreciate all my subscribers and I'll be talking to you later thank you and good day